Too many mothers in our state die before they get to see their babies grow up. Texas Health and Human Services found 382 mothers died between 2012 and 2015, either while pregnant or within a year of giving birth. But as KXAN's Eugene Cho found out, we may soon be learning how to lower that number from an unlikely source. We have to tell people up front that it's the country, not the state. Georgia, just southwest of Russia, is where these University of Texas students will be spending 10 weeks this summer. The students tell me Texas has a lot to learn from Georgia because that country was able to decrease its maternal mortality rate by half in recent years. Maternal mortality is usually defined as the number of deaths per 100,000 births. In Georgia in 2015, I think it was around 36 per 100,000. And a few years later, they got it down to around 18 or 17. While they've created that success, they actually have not done much research themselves as to what exactly happened. The World Health Organization says Georgians' overall health improved when the country overhauled its health care system and started keeping better track of birth and death data. These undergrads want to hone in on what worked specifically for decreasing maternal mortality. We know that recently they implemented a policy of regionalization. Instead of centralizing resources uh, at the top of the government, and distributed those resources to regional health boards and hospitals. So we're looking into that as a possible reason for, for the success. They hope what they learn can be implemented here at home. We're spending our time learning and exploring. Like that's what we're doing in college, and so we're just learning and exploring about this specific issue that happens to really matter. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. There is an effort at the state capitol to create a data registry for Texas so that health leaders can better understand what causes women to die during or after pregnancy. A recent KXAN investigation revealed the exact number of women dying isn't clear because of errors with data collection. It's keeping doctors and researchers from fully understanding and preventing those problems. We checked tonight, and the bill to create a registry hasn't gone very far. House Bill 2703 has been sent to the House Public, uh, the House Public Health Committee. Maternal mortality was a talking point at the state capitol today as members of the nonprofit Deeds Not Words urge lawmakers to address issues specific to women. We need to survive things like uh, menstrual products or uh, economic freedom, the opportunity to make money and make money on par with our male colleagues, um, the opportunity to um, just flourish in general. All of those things lead to maternal mortality. Former Democratic State Senator Wendy Davis of Fort Worth was also at today's rally. She's the founder of Deeds Not Words.